Constantino. Dole. Pound for pound. Middle Giant Nasty Bernard, uh, any 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 last message to Virgil Ortiz who unfortunately had to be pulled out of the main event? Hey listen. There's no Hall of Fame if you don't have help. There's no championship if you don't have help. But even more important, and I close with this, there's no family. There's no responsibility of family. And there's no Virgil if he don't take care of himself first. One of those taking care of yourself is first physically and then the weight you decide to fight in, which is the next weight I assume. 154. He would be a monster. He would be even more threatening at that division based on his style and based on his body structure. It would be the best thing to happen to him. I know how I felt I could. I know how good I felt when I went up 60 to 75 to fight Tarver. My body wanted to get out of that, that 160 pound bottle that I spent, what, 13 years in with 20 defenses. And I'm not complaining about it, but my, look how tall I am. Look how lean I am. You'll look at me and be like, Bernard, 160? Yes, I was making 56 for Oscar. 58, 57 in some cases. Why do you think I was like, Tarver want to fight me at 175? Uh, he's kind of big. Yeah, he want to fight you at 175. Yes! I was happy that Tarver thought I was going to be a piece of, a, a walk in the park, excuse me. Yeah. But you see, it wasn't, right? 60 to 75 is 15 pounds. No fighter ever done that. They went from mm -hmm. one weight to another weight to another weight, but they never jumped two weight classes, two weight classes, right. over 68 to 75 and beat Tarver, who, who basically ended Roy Jones' career, correct? Correct. And who still was relevant then, correct? Correct. And dangerous then, right? Right. And just like that, 